Hello, I'm Rob, and coming up on R&B Reviews, there are creatures that live in the sewers, and they wear boxes. It's my review of the box trolls coming up. For R&B Reviews, I'm Rob, and I'm Reddy, and we're going to be putting together a series of YouTube When all good citizens are safe inside, beastly creatures roam the night. Box trolls! Box trolls are monsters! At least, that's what everyone's been told. <laughs> Welcome to the magical world of the Box Trolls. The Box Trolls is a quirky stop-motion movie from the producers that made Coraline and Paranorman. The Box Trolls are a community of mischievous creatures who live underneath the city of Cheesebridge. At night, they sneak up through the sewers and look for, the, for trash that humans throw out. One night, they end up taking the responsibility of raising a baby boy that they name Eggs after the box that they put him in. Meanwhile, an exterminator named Snatcher plans to get rid of what he calls pesky trash scavengers, and the boy decides to venture above ground to where he meets Winnie, the daughter of one of the city's leaders, and hopes to stop Snatcher before he wipes out the creatures who raised him. Now, I knew very little about this movie before going in. I had seen trailers for, I want to say, about a year, including one that showed behind-the-scenes work being done, and I thought, creatures called box trolls? Well, that's kind of unusual. But I gotta say, box trolls really surprised me. I really liked how different the movie was compared to some other family films I'd seen. Often, these movies feature over-the-top gag sequences that are there just to show off the 3D, toilet humor, but box trolls, I thought, was a visually engaging movie. Uh, it's dried humor it can be smart and sometimes satirical even though the story itself was familiar at times. It took me a while to adjust to this film because the jokes are not laugh out loud funny but I did find myself chuckling and really getting into the characters and when I left the movie theater I kept thinking about what the care about the characters what they represented and and then it kind of dawned on me that this movie is kind of full of allegories. What I liked about the box trolls themselves is how they have their own language, and the filmmakers use, you know, facial expressions and visuals to get across to the audience what they're thinking and doing. I also liked spending time in their cavern at, underneath the human world. We got to see enough about their way of life to get attached to them when conflicts arise. Explores human, uh, the human's prejudice towards the box trolls and standing up for what someone feels is right, which I think will ring truth with audiences. And I really like the design of the human characters. The villains themselves are kind of grotesque looking. Their leader, Snatcher, he kind of looks like the child catcher from the movie Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And I thought that the Snatcher sidekicks themselves were very funny. The, and the, the, the human leaders themselves, the city's uh, leaders, looked very regal as well. I really also liked Eggs and Winnie together. I thought they made a very fun team and they really get some great sequences together. Who are you, boy? I'm a box troll. Then well, let's see you fit in your box. Mm-hmm. Please help us. When you meet someone, you must look them in the eye and shake hands. What are you doing? But my issue with the box trolls is that sometimes I think some of the characters like Eggs sounds like they're giving a lecture speeches when discussing prejudice rather than, you know, being a little bit more subtle about it. At first, it was kind of hard for me to root for the box trolls because... I, at the beginning of the movie, I did not know how or why they ended up with Eggs as a baby. They're just seen, you know, taking him. I don't know whether they kidnapped him, whether the, his parents died, or whether they gave the baby to him. I don't know. I mean, you find out later on what went on, but for a while, it was really hard for me to root for them because I didn't know whether these were the bad guys or not. Um, but, I mean, once you spend time with, them, with the characters, uh, with the box trolls, I kind of warmed up to them a little bit. Um, a criticism that I've noticed with some reviewers was that there's that they say that there's no clear lead character. But I kind of like that we got to spend time with with some of them. Like, for example, we spend time with Winnie, and we see her perspective of the human world. Um, I like that we spend time with the box trolls and get to know their world. Eggs is kind of, you know, stuck in the middle. You know, it's one of, it's he kind of reminded me of, I, I don't know if you've seen the 1994 live-action version of The Jungle Book, but with Mowgli, he's... They try to teach him to be human, but he can't cause really connect because he's been raised in the jungle with animals, so he's kind of, you know, stuck in the middle. 
Um, what really impressed me with um, with the movie was, you know, finding out who voiced these characters. Uh, during the closing credits, when they showed the character, a picture of the characters and who voiced them, I was like, wow, that person played that character? My gosh. It, do it didn't sound like them. I really like, I, I like that too. Oftentimes when you see cartoons, often you say, oh yeah, I can hear Halle Berry, or oh yeah, that does sound like George Lopez. But these actors made the characters have unique voices, and you were not distracted by who these actors were. I think Box Trolls will be a movie that will have a cult following like Coraline. I don't know if it's gonna if mainstream audiences are gonna get it. It's not really a laugh out loud film. It can be dark. The mu the movie's humor is a little bit more you know subtle and satirical, and there are meta metaphors throughout. And this movie also, like I said, it doesn't have a lot of you know over the top slapstick gags. But that's what I liked about the film. I thought it was different. Um, I, I thought all the characters were interesting. So for that, I'm gonna recommend the movie in theaters. So uh, check it out. Um, there's been talk about whether this movie is appropriate for little kids. Mm, I don't know. I, maybe not real, real little ones. Maybe a little bit older, like maybe seven, eight, nine, ten, perhaps. But um, yeah, I, I, I would probably say this might be an interesting movie to go see. All right. Well, that's my review of the box trolls. If you've seen it, post your comments. If you have any feedback or uh, comments about the channel, go ahead and post them. And if you're uh, interested, uh, visit the main page. Look at some other reviews that I've done. Um, on the channel as well as my uh, co-host Dave and Brendan and if you're interested consider being a subscriber. Thanks for watching